Crawlers, MC Crawl here. Welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you guys a few uh, random pulse generators. And the first thing I'm going to do in this video is kind of explain the, the versions that I have. Then I'll move on to tutorials. I also have a annotation in the top right for you guys to skip to any of the tutorials that you like. Uh, this way you guys don't have to watch the explanation if you guys already get the general idea. Alright guys, let's go. Today's tutorial is on a random pulse generator using the trip wires uh, that you guys seen in my last tutorial. <clears throat> if you guys haven't seen that, I will put that in the description. You guys can go take a look at that video. Uh, now basically, uh, how this is going to work is uh, these trip wire, uh, trip wire hooks actually, for some reason, update very randomly. Uh, I would say just as random as wheat. Someone kind of uh, explained that a little bit in the last video. Um, kind of the same way uh, wheat updates and grows, uh, we also get a similar type of pulse coming from uh, these tripwire hooks. And that causes uh, a little confusion here with block update, uh, block update detectors. As you see, this is a block update, de update detector right here. If I add or remove, remove a block, it will make a pulse. Uh, now this is a uh, pretty compact bud switch here, minus this block and this block with the attached uh, um, <laughs> tripwire hooks. I always forget the names of those things. Um, and yeah, so. You can see that the more hooks you have on here, uh, the more often we're going to have a pulse. Now, if I were to just attach this right here, you're going to see a lot more pulse coming out of this one and this one right here. They are both identical. Uh, as you can see, uh, let's see if we can see one. All right, so that one came out of that. Uh, there's definitely these two are going to come out soon. That one's going to be less often for sure. That one already went again. Any day now. That one went three times already. Uh, but you kind of get my point. Uh, so, why do I have two of them set up here like this? Well, I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, now, I'm going to put uh, put one right here. And you guys just noticed that, that went off. As uh, I showed you guys in my... Uh, the key tutorial. Uh, if you do that, it will update that one. Uh, so, let me remove these, and I want to show you guys something kind of interesting. Now, right now, both of these have hooks on each other, facing each other. Now, watch this. When this updates, they're both going to update at the same time because for some reason, uh, they correspond with each other on uh, when they're facing each other as if there was a wire almost attached to it. So, let's go ahead and show it one more time. It did show it once, but just show you guys that it was not coincidence. I'll show you guys one more time. And notice that it's not as often because there aren't as many. See, there you go right there. Uh, so, yes, that is kind of how that works. Now, I was getting a little frustrated to see that, you know, there's this giant bulky machine here doing all this work and then I got all this this stuff going on and it's kind of noisy and you know it, it's just it is what it is and then I did some extensive research on bud switches and I found this one this is a block update detector that whenever you update any block uh, adjacent to this redstone that's on top of this uh, glowstone it will update and make a pulse. If you guys notice here, I will do that. You can see that it flashed on and off. On, 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 on. And to show you guys what kind of pulse that emits, let's put a, with that, with a block on top and check this out. Yes. How interesting is that? So now that we have that set up, what can we do with this? Uh, how about, here, let me, let me move this and put it right here. I'm going to put my key right there. You see that I put the key on there. I removed it. Put it on. And, of course, when it does its little update, it is going to update that block. And I can do this anywhere. I can put it here. Uh, however, when this is on, I can't actually 
attach it, as you can see. <laughs> so, I have to actually turn this off. It's going to burn out. Attach my key. Add my redstone. And now I have two blocks adjacent to it, uh, attached to this redstone. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so basically what I'm trying to say is that anything that changes the... Uh, changes the update to this block is going to cause uh, a reaction and it's going to update this torch so here is my version of this uh, a little more compact a little less profile so it's using that same design over there and uh, basically it is uh, it's it uses four here but you can you can add more than this you can you notice that it updated right there updated right there you can then from here attach attach these right there that is a lot of, of uh, updates and a small amount of area uh, so this thing is gonna update like crazy uh, so if you need a pulse generator that's not gonna uh, take forever uh, you know it's gonna emit a, a, a pulse within a certain amount of time uh, then this is definitely and as I'm saying this it's not updating yay we're watching that one update more often than this one uh, so, so yeah. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys. Go ahead and how to uh, show you guys how to build this. Uh, first, I'm going to show you guys how to build the compact one because I think that's going to be the most common. Uh, basically, it is two blocks and a piece of redstone in this little L shape here. At the end of the two blocks, you're going to want to put a torch. Then you're going to put some redstone going around this. Now this is going to burn out, and that's fine. You know, uh, actually, once you put once you put a piece of redstone on the glowstone, it decides not to burn out. So, uh, with this particular design, it is not going to burn out. <laughs> and then uh, here, you just put a block right on top of this uh, redstone. You just put your your blocks around, and there you go. That's that's your pulse generator. Uh, this is going to be your output right here. Uh, if you I believe you could have this as an output as well, but naturally this would be a uh, uh, a Constantly on output as opposed to an off output But it, it does work a similar way actually I just noticed that actually updates right there as well and that updates also That's good to know uh, So you could actually from here you can put your your redstone uh, piston a block and there you go you have now your pulse generator with uh, you know one of these little pistons so so this is a half a tick basically it's what it's creating if you want to extend the the pulse you're going to need some repeaters and you can use either pulse lengtheners or whatever but basically setting them setting the repeaters to max pulse pulse length is going to extend the pulse so let's go ahead and see what this looks like notice that it extended the pulse like crazy I believe once it goes through one it is now a uh, four tick pulse and then as it's going through here it stays the four tick I know that there's a way another way to extend it but I'm sure you guys are gonna tell me all right now I'm gonna show you guys how to build this bud switch and use this one to its max ability uh, actually this one's max ability first is like this here here and there uh, yes that is is that the max that is not the max okay the max is right here however that one's gonna pop off now in order for this one to work you have to remove that attach uh, attach it right there and then replace the the redstone now it is it is literally using every single block. Uh, you can't put this block right here because this needs to travel upward. So uh, that is it for this one. Now we'll show you guys how to build this one. So uh, its pr basic profile is two by three, and you're wanna just gonna make this like little T looking thing from Tetris, and uh, we're gonna put some repeaters down, uh, one facing in, one facing out. Set the one that's face that was facing in to two. And we're going to go ahead and put a non-sticky piston right in front of it, facing out. Then we're going to put a redstone torch right down below it. Uh, from here, you want to put a block in front 
of this repeater and some redstone on the other side of it. On top of that block, you want to put uh, redstone, <clears throat> and then you want to put one block uh, above it and one block in front of it. Now, from here, before we get too crazy, we want to put a piece of, uh, we want to put a sticky piston right here. So basically, right there. You guys can see that. Uh, and then we'll put a piece of, actually, let's go ahead and put one block right on the sticky piston, and then we'll put our redstone down. Now, we have our bud. That's it. This this is the bud. I like this bud. This is one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> now, in order to set it up with the max amount of tripwire hooks, uh, I like to just put one on the top, one on the front, and then just load it up. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. That is not the max, but that is a good amount. Uh, the actual max is only two more than this. You have to put a block here, and then you only get this one spot right there. You can't put one here because then that messes up your redstone line. And then you'd have to do the same thing on the other side. And I feel that uh, having this is pointless just for the two extra. So I'm gonna cut that down and uh, you really have no need for that. So six is a good amount for any of them. Uh, that's why I like this design so much because look at look at the low profile this thing gives off. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten block up deta detectors on this thing. That is insane. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, thumbs up, favorite, uh, leave a comment, all that good shit. And I will see you guys next time. Keep crawling. And as always, peace out.